Thanks for tuning in. My name is Mirko Mayer, um, AKA Dark Sky Explorer. If you follow me on Instagram, I want to thank you for that. Um, I'm finally getting around to doing a, a follow up video on the Red Cat 51 um, uh, lens by William Optics right here. So graciously uh, loaned to me by Woodland Hills Camera and Telescope. So thank you, Woodland Hills Telescope and Camera, for loaning this to me. Um, the purpose of this video was really just to show the results of this lens attached to this camera body, which is a Pentax K1, and how it compares to a 300 millimeter prime lens F4 Pentax. Now, I shot this, uh, I shot with this lens, this setup, at, set at F5, so it's a direct comparison to the, uh, the Red Cat 51 F ratio. Um, and what I found is that the Red Cat 51 lens performs better on a full frame sensor um, versus the 300 millimeter prime lens um, because this prime lens actually was made for an APS-C sensor. So it makes sense that it would perform better. Um, but what I did was I shot the North America Nebula and I'm same exposures, same ISO setting, processed the same exact way side to side in Photoshop and I thought that would be kind of a fun shootout. The main reason for me doing this really is just to um, provide some information. So maybe you have a prime lens, it's a 200 millimeter prime lens, or it's a 300 millimeter prime lens, and it's either, maybe it's a 2.8, if, if you have that, that is awesome, but if you, it's typically, it probably is a 5.6, but if it's a sharp lens, you may not need to have the need to um, upgrade to a uh, Red Cat 51. Although I will say, this lens made by William Optics is a great performer and it's a great astrophotography lens. It's great for guide, guiding as well. So, but if you already have a lens, um, prime lens, you can use it and still do some great astrophotography work, whether it's a Canon, whether it's a Pentax, Nikon, whatever you use. So without further ado, I thought I would let the pictures speak for themselves. I'm going to zoom in on the corner so that you could see side by side the red cap versus the um, 300 millimeter prime lens and enjoy the shootout. Thank you for watching. 